this installment of our Core View video series, I'm going to be demonstrating the different ways we can segment and micro-segment your Office 365 tenant for better management and granular control. The first way to segment your Office 365 tenant is by creating a license pool. A license pool is a way for an organisation to have closer control and management of your Microsoft licences for superior cost management and license allocation. This is a great function for those business units that look to cost recover activities associated with managing Microsoft licenses and determining chargeback costs. This doesn't happen easily out of the box within the management console for Office 365 and can require multiple headcount producing reports depending on an organization's complexity and size. What I'm doing right now is segmenting this demo tenant by attributes in Azure Active Directory. There's different ways that we can break up into different license pools. But, this for, but for this instance, we'll pull licenses based on the different organizations within our demo tenant. Now I'm breaking out which of the licensing SKUs we would like to report on and manage within these license pools. Clicking into the license pool report on the left, we will see the names of the different organizations within our Office 365 tenant and the Microsoft licenses we have selected to manage in CoreView. Progressing through this report, as I scroll, you will see the different Microsoft SKUs of what is allocated and being consumed by each organization. You will then see what is being allocated and consumed from a dollar perspective for chargeback reporting. No more pushback from business units and over allocation of license for your organization. The second way we can segment your Office 365 tenant with CoreView is, pro is by creating a virtual tenant or vTenant. Here I am creating a logical separation using attributes within Azure Active Directory or through tags that are applied in CoreView. We can also break up tenants on the, at the user level if you'd like to be that far in the weeds. It is really up to your heart's desire how you can break up your vTenants. VTenants provide a logical separation of a physical tenant and you as the administrator can then assign to operators. We can then delegate these separated segments, VTenants, to different admins for management of different regions, departments, locations, or business units, whatever is needed. It puts you in control. And this makes a really nice transition to our final way of segmenting your Office 365 tenant, which is via managing permissions. In CoreView, there are two tiers of users. Administrators and Operators. CoreView Administrators can delegate to Operators what reports and dashboards Operators are able to view when in CoreView. They are also able to delegate what management actions and users or virtual tenants Operators can perform ac management actions against. Here, I have already created a Help Desk Operator Profile, which we can take a quick look into. As you can see out of the box in comparison, Microsoft 365 admin roles can be way too broad or way too specific. So what we are looking at now is a least privileged access model to reports, dashboards, and management functionality to a delegated group of operators, all customized and putting the CoreView administrator in control of your Office 365 tenant.